Welcome to Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Let's talk about what has gone on before. We're talking about robots. They have videos on YouTube from 10 years ago about things that were recorded 10 years prior to that of robots walking perfectly like humans. And we're, when I say perfectly, I mean robots programmed to walk like men look like physically walk like men you know can you all see me and this is so dis this is weird is this better this is a terrible background i should be like in the with the black background And robots that walk like females, like women, you know, with the, the hip, the everything, the feet, the hips, the knees, you know, uh, I'm an artist, so I look at really minute details, like they have literally uh, balanced uh, the movement, the, the female movement of the slight, you know, the homosexuals overdo it. They, they, they go all, you know, like this. But women don't walk like that. Women, they have a slight, uh, because they are physically uh, constructed completely different from men, their, uh, their midsection is much wider and their top section is much smaller than men. This is mainly why women are shorter than men because they don't have the upper torso length of men. So these robots are constructed in such a way that everything fits perfectly in a now so we're going back 20 years hold on I already did a video and it might have been taken down by YouTube uh, in the robot series because if you click on the robot series you will see uh, that uh, half of the videos have been taken down by YouTube because YouTube doesn't want me talking about men versus women I, I, I don't know they talk about men versus women I can't talk about men versus women uh, anyway, uh, everything's, all the minute details, and uh, I was, my point was, hold on, 60 years ago, they perfected animatronics, perfected. We're talking about, there's, when they really spend the money on it, they get everything, they get all the tiny muscles and the jawline, all the tiny, all, all of this, all of this is perfectly so when you talk... Uh, you look like you're actually speaking with your so that lip readers can actually see exactly what you're saying now so now that I've pointed that out to you now you'll be cognizant of of what I'm saying and probably the lip reader people will be uh, much more engaged now <laughs> now that I'm making myself aware of it so 60 years ago, all of this, everything, all, all of the little tiny muscles here, all, all, oh, the eyebrows, oh yes, the eyebrows, I play guitar, so, do 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 do, -do. anyway, uh, all the eyebrows, I mean, all, all the tiny muscles that move this side independently of this side, and, and this side versus going out, you know, when you're exasperated, your eye, eyebrows go out. When you're concerned or something, you, they go in, right? All of that tiny stuff. 60 years ago. Uh, like I said, I'm an artist, and I'm an artist with minimal training. So I didn't go to art school. I took, you know, regular, just some art classes in, in, in college for electives. I have high blood pressure, so I gotta hydrate myself. Make sure you're hydrated, especially in this in this heat. Uh, yesterday, I almost fainted doing a video. So this day, I'm not gonna faint. Okay, so 20 years ago, they perfected the movement of the robot itself. If you look on YouTube, I'm on a phone right now, so the level of my technology is limited. Uh, 
if you know if you know people who uh, record videos, you know that the if they record on their phone, they still have to go to their PC, and my comp my laptop completely uh, broke. Um, so um, I can't. Uh, you will have to look up stuff yourself because I can't even put links on these videos. Uh, that's only that's only if you have a PC can you do all of that stuff on YouTube. Just so you know, behind the scenes, you are limited it unless you have a PC. Okay, so if you look on YouTube, you can see robots walking perfectly. And uh, th this is 20 years ago. They did it all the way down to a little tiny uh, uh, toy-like size for like tiny kids, tiny, tiny robots. And now let me explain the Japanese thinking. The Japanese have come right out and says the manufacturers have come right out and said that the first things that they wanted available to the public for the fully functioning robot uh, is to not scare the general public. And they said in that effort, they all of their robots are smaller than young children. So there, no robot is going to be this tall. They're all going to be down here, if, if you can see my hand. They're going to be... A, 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 they're going to be right at the bottom of your rib cage and no taller so that it doesn't so that the general public doesn't feel threatened and so that uh, they will be much more compelled by the size uh, to be much more affectionate towards a robot this is all psychological right you know what, what are the uh, uh, skynet will come later <laughs> Now, some of you have uh, indicated to me that you think this is 200, uh, 200 years away, that a robot could sit uh, across from you, a, a female robot wife could sit across from you and hold a conversation. They can already do that. There are companies now who literally start up uh, with phone apps and people swear to God that they, the phone app is their friend. Because they have infused the phone app with AI, specifically calling it a friend or whatever. And they have perfect AI that can talk to you, learn your speech pattern, learn the way you sort of behave, learn the way you think. Now, I told you in another, uh, another video, I don't know if that was taken down, that they, they have psychiatrist uh, apps on the phone called uh, Instant Psychiatrist, and the AI uh, has all of the teachings of a, a psychiatrist, and the people pull up the app, they talk to the uh, phone psychiatrist, and if the phone psychiatrist determine that there is a need for an actual human psychiatrist, it will dial up a psychiatrist. So that's the app, right? And, you know, so people... Uh, and, and here's the finding that they did when they started doing all of before they even started doing this, that humans uh, will trust a robot way more than a human being, right? Because a human being, no matter their teachings, no matter, and if you, you can see it on uh, stuff like, uh, what is that show called? Uh, Lucifer. Lucifer has a psychiatrist. Uh, what was it? Uh... The uh, mafia guy, he had a psychiatrist. You will see that in, in these, in these uh, shows, the psychiatrist talks uh, way more than what was normal, like, say, 20, 30 years ago. The psychiatrist or psychologist never said anything to the patient. Simply, well, how did that make you feel? Well, how did that make you feel? You know, now they're like, well, that doesn't, blah, 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 blah. And that, that, that. That's not your training. It's not your training. And... Uh, I, I'm saying that psychiatry has been destroyed by the social justice uh, movement because they're all in on that. They all ascribe to that. They all. Uh, I had training myself. I've, in fact, I've, I think a full, a full 25% of my degree uh, had me taking uh, psych psychiatric psychological uh, courses. So I have credits. I, th I believe I could, if I tested, I could be a psychologist. I didn't go to med medical school, so I'm not capable of being a psychiatrist. But the 
the coursework for evaluating and analyzing a person is already there, which is the same for psychiatrists and psychologists. The difference is the psychiatrist goes to med school and then learns the actual chemistry makeup of the brain, which they believe is much better training because uh, your brain and emotions are all derived from the chemistry in your body. And you can literally have just somebody who is just imbalanced by certain chemicals and you give them a chemical and poof, it's a brand new human, right? But nobody wants to tell you that. And I believe they don't. The phar big pharmaceutical companies uh, actually uh, have made the psychiatrist go away from poof. You know, because that's, how, you know, how, why would you cure somebody when you can just treat them forever, right? Anyway, the psych the people, the psychiatrists behind the, psychi the phone psychiatrist app were amazed that the people said things to the phone app that was far surpassing anything that a psychiatrist could draw out of a, a person because the person trusted the phone app, the robot, more than a human because a human comes with all sorts of baggage and judgments that the that the patient doesn't want to deal with so if you have a female psychiatrist and like i said now they're into that social justice stuff uh the the patient uh, can tell that the female psychiatrist is, oh well that's that's just masculinity you need to get rid of that and even couples therapy of the therapist suggesting divorce what kind of who would go to couples therapy to have the therapist suggest divorce? The whole point of going to the therapy is to save the marriage or save the relationship. So, uh, yes, people are trusting robots more, right? So we've got this AI part settled. And we're, I'm talking about people thinking that the AI isn't there. It's there. It's already there. It's been there. Now, as far as a, the, the Facebook AI and YouTube AI, they're hor they're terrible, because YouTube and Facebook uh, are in on the social justice thing again. So you're you're destroying the very thing that you've created by imposing human uh, frailties in it, and human baggage and human uh, judgments on the AI uh, to make a determination. That is human-based, not AI-based, you know, not robot-based. Robot would say, uh, this is free speech, boom, good. This is free speech, boom, good. Not, oh, he said the word man, uh, delete his channel. <laughs> delete his channel. He said the word woman, delete his channel. <laughs> uh, right? You understand? So... Twitter, YouTube, and, you know, it's it has to be robots. It can't be humans because humans, there are not enough humans. These 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 uh, platforms have millions, hundreds of millions of users. There's no possible way that they could keep track of the interactions of hundreds of millions of humans per per second. You know, so it has to be robots. But they're infusing. The human psychology of the human baggage, the human judgments onto the robot. And the robot, of course, can't determine if something is even good or bad. You remember YouTube went through that and then all of the liberals started screaming saying, Oh my god, you you flagged my channel. I'm a part of your a part of you. You all are liberal. I'm liberal too. What are you doing? That's the human trying to program a robot to be a liberal, right? That, to have a liberal judgment. And the robot gets it wrong because the robot can't determine the word man from the word man, right? You understand? Now, Asian robots, that's China and Japan and uh, Korea and uh, there's somewhere else, somewhere I'm leaving out. Uh, they are dedicated to making sure that the customer gets what the customer wants. They're not trying to, come here, 
Come here. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Sit. Awesome. They are not trying to reprogram people or indoctrinate people or anything like that. So they give the customer what they want. So when you get a robot in Asia, you will get a robot that's going to be like, Hey, master, how you doing? Oh, good to see you. Oh, I missed you, master. Oh, it's a nice day. Oh, the weather's fine. Uh, take an umbrella. Oh, let me cook you something. You know, that's what you're going to get over there. And let me just inform you, China is a way ahead of the United States and everything technological. Why? Because the government of China uh, has dedicated itself, and what I mean by dedicate, I mean dedicate uh, itself to being the number one technological empire of the world. So they have done that, the United States has not. And when I say the United States, I mean the United States government has not. So if anybody wants to make a phone app, want to make a robot, want to make a solar panel, want to make a, a wind turbine, they will have to do it themselves. In China, uh, a company will say, we're going to make robots, we're going to make computer chips. And the government will say, okay, not only will we, will we uh, help fund you, we will increase your goal 10 times. So now they have stuff like uh, computers with a thousand uh, CPUs in them, you know, just crazy stuff. Stuff that, you, you know, they do it and they do it bigger, right? Uh, so they spent years and years basically stealing from uh, the West on technology. And now they are going uh, pushing beyond that uh, technology since they believe that they are trained enough to come up with new stuff, which I don't believe. This is what I where I don't trust it. I don't believe that they're uh, I don't believe that they're trained enough in innovate because the, the way the culture is, it's not to be innovative. It is to be group oriented especially in Japan. Japan is very group oriented. Uh, people have gone over there and sat in on business meetings and said, okay, uh, give me, give me ideas. And nobody spoke up. Why? Because nobody wants to be singled out. Nobody wants to be, be an individual. That's not how you get promoted over there. You get promoted by being a, a team player. That That's business 101 in Japan. Um, and that's business 101 being trained to understand the culture of Japan. And China is even worse. It's uh, kind of strange. N never trust whatever a Chinese person, Chinese businessman tells you. Because they have to put on a face. Uh, I've dealt with the Chinese. So I'm not saying anything bad. I'm saying that's the culture. They have to put on a face. And you, as the partner, have to determine whether the whatever what they're saying is true they could literally say is i i own a manufacturing plant of in uh, beijing and it could be completely untrue a manufacturing plant that you could literally go and be look at the address and be like uh this is an apartment building w with little old ladies in it i mean it's just not, right it can be completely untrue they're trying to put on face that's so being innovative in the uh in asia is not uh, now, of course, Japan is a little bit better than China, but this is my opinion, is, is in Ch than China as far as being innovative. China, I mean, Japan, uh, while Japan wants to be the next whatever, China is putting the manpower and dollars behind whatever. So they might be stealing from Japan too. We don't, I don't, I don't have information on that. But uh, as far as I know. So it's already there. The United States is far behind them on robotics and everything. Far behind. Far. Uh, this Boston Dynamics say we got a guy to walk. Oh, okay. We got a we got a robot to jump. We got a robot to jump over. We, we got a robot to do a backflip. Okay. Yeah, China did that 20 years ago. You're late. You're very late. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please like the video. Leave a comment. What do you think?